Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Samurai Warriors Spirit of Sonata. I'm the Mysterious JG. Let's uh, take a quick visit to the Takata Shingen, I mean, um, Sanada homeland and finish up one of the last areas that we haven't been able to deal with. Uh, we still need to recover some more heavenly seeds, but Areas Explored is one that we can just knock out now. With Kunoichi as our main hero. And, um... Katsuyori, I believe, is about to disappear as a playable character. So, Iki Baby Yukimura can come with, even though I don't think I'll be using him. To the extent that I care. Uh, oh, she's got a third slot available. Let's just give her um, Eagle Eye, which sometimes gives you more materials. And he should already have that, yep. Music is kind of fun there. This is going to be lots of fun. I'm going to enjoy exploring the Santa homeland for some reason. Whee. Oh, there's Yukimura. Oh, he's following us around. Uh. Oh, we got like four silkworms there. Two copper ores. And dandelion. Let me look at the map. Okay, so I know where uh, the zone is to go get extra stuff. I guess you just get gold for defeating those guys and not materials, so maybe I don't even care about fighting them, but... So if, at one point I was like, playing this game off screen a bit, listening to Mystery Science Theater and going through the Sonata Homeland getting materials, in theory this new area would make that worth doing again for different materials, but I kind of feel like the game's not difficult enough to require that. It's like they kind of make grinding more of a potentially useful thing than it is in other Warriors games, but not really necessary. close attention to what this guy drops, and if it's just gold... Oh, it's experience. Okay. Yeah, if they never drop materials, that I probably would... I guess it's not really worth taking the time to go through these things if you're not going to kill the enemies and get some weapon level, but really, because that's, that's... Oh, I do... I got a conch for defeating that guy. Okay, I, I guess they have some use that I'm not quite sure about, but... Heavenly Seed. Those are the ones... Yeah, I need to get a few more of those to full clear the area. Although, I read online somewhere, even if you do all of the missions, it's only on your second playthrough that any bonus from doing that is even unlocked. Which makes it really kind of pointless. Oh, Speedy Supply Soldier has been discovered. Speedy Delivery Guy. got copper ore from that. That's all. Hmm. Seems like a pretty crap reward. Did I miss the reward? Oh, whatever. Anyway, the, um... This is a ninja path, so we need to do a ninja jump to get up here. It allows us to explore this last area, get a conch. It's not even a full screen, it's just 
couple of extra things. But we got Sherbet of Arborator's Talisman. Whatever, let's leave our horse behind. This reminds me, I need to go buy horses, that's the thing. We got two times conch shell. They are still terrible with their weapons. I am three heavenly seeds away from full clearing this. We got a special reward of three times red armor for areas explored. Which, oh, that might be the item we need for that quest. I am not sure what we need for that quest. Delicious bee larva, fire looter, whatever. Okay, so that's Shingen's younger brother, who I believe is already dead at this point. I can ignore you for right now. Because I believe you wanted a... Uh, invincibility small. You did. Or mini. Red fox pelt we need. Not, um... Okay. So we still can't do that. Alright, we still can't do that. Young master, oh, I suppose I can't tell you that and call you that anymore. My lord, are you all right? It will take me a while to get used to that. But now that I am head of the clan, I suppose I will have to. Yes, young master, I mean my lord. Master Ado, I mean Liu Shan. I am sure you will lead the sign of the clan with distinction. We retainers have total faith in you. I must do my best to live up to those expectations. By the way, I hear you like killer fish. What's up with that? I will do all I can to help for the Sarada and for the Takada. Nike. There may be some who feel we should part ways with the Takada, but a true retainer proves provides support through thick and thin. Yes, uh, yes, you're right. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. He wonders if he'll find something. Could go fishing. I really don't care at the moment. Let's go get a horse. Our horse is great. Can I address you on a horse? What's it gonna take for you to leave today on this horse, sir? The stables. Gold can be spent at the stables to purchase mounts. Mounts can be taken into battle, allowing you to cover long distances and traverse red zones quickly. As the story progresses, more mounts will become available for purchase. Select the mount you wish to take in the battle by pressing the touchpad to open the information screen, then select equipment and mounts. So we got, um... Phantom Gray. Motozuki. I mean, the stats on these are all pretty similar. 39, 29, 30, 39, 34, 35, 34, 35, 37. So that adds up to 60, 70, 80, 98, I think. Yep. This adds up to more than 98. Yeah. This adds up to more than 98, and this adds up to more than 98 as well. 5 plus 4 is 9. We'll make that... Uh... This is the best overall stats. The lowest speed of the fancy pants horses, but the best overall stats. I don't know what stamina does. I'm not really sure what power means, other than like when you're using it to charge into enemies. But it's got the best overall stats, so what the hell. 
Although, really, they don't cost that much money. Let's just buy them all. Because you probably level them up with time anyway. But again, when I've got more horses, which probably won't be for a while. You guys freak, still freaking out about the bear? Oh, you've got a new thing to say. Uh, hello. I am sorry, Lord Mazuki, my brother. He dot dot dot. Enough, I understand. Apparently he's going to say something I'm not going to like. Lord Mazuyuki, what happened to Lord Nobutsuna and Lord Mazuteru? My brothers fought with great courage to protect the Takata. Thanks to them, Lord Katsuyori survived. Without their sacrifice at Nagashino, that would not have been possible. Battle of Nagashino. This was the battle we just fought. Battle fought in 1575 between the Takata Army and the Oda Tokugawa Coalition Army for control of Nagashino Castle in Makawa Province, present-day eastern Aichi Prefecture, which ended in a massive defeat for the Takata. While the commonly accepted theory is that Nobunaga Oda prepared 3,000 riflemen and used a stockade to counter the Takata's cavalry as well as techniques such as the three-tiered rifle line to deal with the Takata to deal with the Takata deal with the Takata army crushing defeat, there are many alternate theories as well. Although it is undisputed that the loss of so many retainers in this battle was the first step in the eventual fall of the Takata clan, some hold the opinion that the Otate Rebellion and the defense of Takanjin Castle were even more instrumental in the clan's demise. As far as we're concerned, my lord, we would have preferred it if Lord Nobutsuna and Lord Mazatero had survived. How dare you? What is he saying? He wished that Mazayuki had died? Would the Takata keep us safe? What strength does Lord Katsuyori really possess? Oh, he's saying that he wished that the, the Sanada guys were alive and the, hadn't died to defend the Takata, who he doesn't really consider worthwhile. Wow. Your words bring you shame. You must speak no more. Slap. Erg. Please forgive me. Oh, innocent ones. Da, 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 da. No wonder you apologized for him before he said anything. Where, wait, where did you go? There you go. You're going to say the same thing again? Yeah, Lord Masayuki, I... Enough, Sakube. I know full well that you fought bravely to protect Lord Katsuyori. But I also know that anyone could lose their nerve after seeing such casualties. Yes, my lord, forgive me. Mm. I don't care about farming right now. Because I'm not getting the new fancy pants stuff I need, like uh, red shell whatever. Hey, Hunter or something. Did you hear what they found at Mount Asayama? A bear. We must not wait for it to injure someone before we act. It is our job as hunters to do something. None? What's that? You'll be able to, you'll do something about it? You can tell it to scram all you like. It's a bear. I doubt it will listen. Do you wish to accept the task of bear encounter? Oh yeah. Go to the rest stop off I-95. Go to the men's room, third stall. Bear encounter. Then we will leave it alone for now. I mean, then, uh, in this very ring, uh, we will leave it alone uh, for now. Uh, it's not something. The bears have spotted Mount Asama Foothills. Please take care. Uh. Lord Nobutsuna, Lord Mazateru, so many battles, so many have been lost on the field of battle. Uh. Mm. This battle, it was most unfortunate. Yes. We were unaware that the Oda were so well prepared. If only we ninjas had identified that earlier. Yeah, you might have picked that up. It was impossible to predict what would happen in the battle. Only Nobunaga could have done something like that. So, you should have predicted it. Maybe I should write about the Battle of Nagashino in the Chronicles. Yeah, only Nobunaga could have done that, but since I knew that Nobunaga was capable of it, I guess I should have figured that out. False guard. There's quite a lot of treasure here. Probably, it's t it's it was lit up red because there's more multi-stage battles from the past that I could go into now because I just finished one. That's why. I would guess. All right, let's get out of here. Miracle Max is still there. What on earth happened? 
Ribitsuna, Mazateru, how could you go before me? I am sorry, Uncle. I am the only one who survived. Why would you apologize? I am most glad to see you are safe. Don't forget to visit the shop. Yeah, whatever. You got new stuff to say? It looks like he has new stuff to say. I will need more than four to be of assistance to you. I'm counting on you. Okay. Just a little... Just a little tack on... Tack on Shima. Are you looking to pull someone from the, uh, the past? Like, bring back Shingen and chat with him at the tea house? This is gonna show up like this because of, um... Characters like Oichi and Aya that I... As much fun as I have playing as Iowa As Iowa Aya, to a lesser degree, also Oichi, um... I don't know that we'll ever use either of them again, so there's not much point in leveling them up. So let's talk to Masatsune. He's got a very feminine voice. Talk to him. Masatsune. Master Masayuki, what's the matter? You look so grave. Even the peasants will soon be avoiding you. As if they don't already. <sighs> you are feeling bad for me because of what happened to my brother. Thank you for your concern. You lost two brothers, and I feel nothing for you. I, I was on the same battlefield, but I could do nothing for him. You must not blame yourself. We were all there. There is nothing special about you, Master Masayuki. You are worthless to me. There is nothing special about you. That's great. My brother died serving his lord. That honor belongs to him and him alone. You cannot take that away from him, Master Masayuki, though I know you would if you could, you bastard. So, yes, yes, you're right. I apologize. Masayuki-sama. Perhaps I should check on the children. No, the children. Stable hand, you have something to say? Father! Yes, son? I want to kill you. Stewie. Father! Stewie. I thought that was like Otufa or Otusa. Otufa, Otusa's mother, I thought. Father, it is good to see that you made it home safely. Um, wait, let me try that again. Am I doing Nobunaga by mistake here? It sounds totally different. Father, it is good to see you made it home safely. Oh. Hmm. But Uncle Nobutsuna and Uncle Mazateru. I would like to say that they went gladly to their deaths on the field of battle, but with all the difficulties forced upon them. Father. I, mean, father. I heard that many lost their lives. What are we to do now? Yeah, don't worry, Yugimura. Someday you too will oversee many people losing their lives. Yukimura. It is at times of greatest crisis that we must stick together. Together with Father, we must do all we can for the Takada. Yes, brother. I'm not sure that we're not getting ready to betray the Takada. I don't really remember exactly how this went down. Is that really for the best? Father, please don't teach me that going around betraying clans is good news, because uh, I might pick up on that lesson. It is as Nobuyuki says. This is the moment of truth. Yes. Da, 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 da. Nobuyuki's a pretty wise kid. Gollum's lament. Nobunaga kicked the Takata cavalry's ass. He's pretty much guaranteed to take over. So everyone thought. Meanwhile, Katsuyori was doing what he could to rebuild the clan, but what he could do wasn't that much. Having lost so many key retainers, they had already begun its inexorable slide into ruins. Tony Shivani would refer to the talk of the clan as a coffin on roller skates. Mazuki began to sense a growing divide between himself and his friend with whom he had once shared so many dreams and ideals. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, I don't know about, uh, I don't know if the sound are going down with the ship here, guys. 
This is why I'm interested in this story. Like, some of the details of this I'm fuzzy on. It doesn't come up much in the games. But Masayuki was known as a cunning strategist and as somebody who was a bit of a pol- political conniver. Like, not... He was going to find ways to do it within the precepts of honor, generally, but he was going to look after his own clan. Hmm. Lord Katsuyori, even since the disaster in Nagashino, he has done his best as head of the clan, but... Saddle the main castle. Well, I'll tell you what, rather than doing even more chit chat, let's prepare to face Mazuki Sanada. Let's go to this new zone and try to encounter this bear and see if we can find uh, the natural resource we need to finish this uh, local shop quest, too. I'd never betray you, Katsuyori. You can tell because I'm going to bring you with, with me on this quest. For the first time ever, we can choose between different mounts. I think we said Phantom Grey has the best overall stats. And they can both use the same horse, because why wouldn't they be able to do that? What is this one? Stability. Don't lose balance. Yeah, whatever. So we're looking for fire looters, delicious bee larva, to explore new areas, and to find new types of materials. Oh, I didn't bring Kanoichi. I should have brought Kanoichi. There's a ninja path there. Hope we'll find something to make it worthwhile, like some nice, uh, some nice bears. Or materials for that. He's a low ranking ninja. Don't even know why I'm bothering the poor guy. found a delicious bee larva and a red fox pelt which I think is what we're looking for for that other quest so there's the ninja path so I really should have brought Kanoichi oh well maybe we can still come across the bear Honestly, having come across the uh, the red fox pelt, that's already kind of what I was after. So finding the bear would be just a little bonus. Oh no, we came here for the bear as well because it's a, a quest line that you're supposed to be following. Ooh, a mid rank ninja. I don't really know what the ninja political hierarchy is, but uh, it's apparent that we're getting heavily involved with it here. It's a friendly ninja. What is he saying? I think I'll do some trading up here. Okay, cool. Good luck with that. Hey, what rank are you, friendly ninja? I'm just curious. Don't give me a specific rank, just give me a general idea if you're high, low, middle. I'm carrying a message. Great. Good for you. I think I missed a 
uh, loot. Yeah. You're never disappoint, do you? Well, I think I'll be disappointing you later in this chapter. The narration said something about us drifting apart. That doesn't sound good for you, friend. I'm the one who's on the game art, not you. Oh, there's a bear. Discover the bear that the hunter was searching for. It will likely show up again somewhere. Okay. You have, you have, succe you have completed the bear encounter. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's quick do. Let's quick report our bear encounter victory, and um, and uh, maybe go make whatever we need to make out of red bear pelt or red fox pelts, and then call it a video. Hopefully without getting drawn into uh, plot conversations, I'd like to save them for next time. Because if we can uh, round off this video by doing these two little quick town quests, uh, we can concentrate more on the main story. Uh, dive right into the next video. It would be, be good. So let me save here. hyper-attack my way through. Lord Matsuyuki, regarding the Uesugi issue, you mean the children of the Uesugi? <laughs> what about it? The pathetic squabbles following Kenshin's death have been settled by Lord Katsuyuri's intervention. Unfortunately, it would seem that was not the case. The root of the issue was never resolved. Not only have they lost their respected leader in Kenshin, now their house is beset by infighting. The Uesugi may not survive this. Lord Katsuyori has decided to support Kagakatsu in the battle for succession. You have been ordered to fight as his representative, my lord. Kenshin Uesugi's adopted son, he was the actual son of Kenshin's older sister, Aya. Unusually silent, it is said that he rarely smiled. He was constantly lost in deep thought about what is meant to carry on the Uesugi. What it, what it meant to carry on the Uesugi pursuit of righteousness that he had inherited from Kenshin. His trusted retainer, Kanetsuga Naue, was like his best friend, much like the relationship between Mazuyuki and Katsuyori. Support Kakakatsu, I see very well. You are to leave tonight and head for the Uesugi territory. If you wish to bid your family farewell, now is the time. I should write something about this in the Chronicles. I should write, some, blah, blah, write something in the Chronicles about Kenshin's death. In 1577, Kenshin Uesugi defeated a unit led by the Oda clan's Katsuyui Shibata. He utilized some formidable strategies in winning the battle. It's the one that we actually played a couple of videos back. Uh, and it's one of the most difficult... Like in Kessin 3, where you play as the Oda, uh, this is a really hard optional fight, trying to defeat Kenshin. He utilized some formidable strategies in winning the battle. However, shortly thereafter, his health declined rapidly, and he eventually died. Since Kenshin was, had not named a successor, the clan was thrown into turmoil, which led to the Otate Rebellion, as Kagakatsu Usugi and Kagatora Usugi fought for the right to lead the clan. This conflict led to a marked decline of the clan's power and influence. The most likely reason for Kenshin's death was a stroke brought about by his heavy drinking, once again proving that all things should be enjoyed in moderation. Thank you for that life lesson. Um... Samurai Warriors, uh, Sanada Brave Story. What is it that she wants now? Um, Valor Bomb Small Nighttime. Oh, there's new materials we can buy, including. I was wondering if it would include red fox pelts. Yep, it does. So now that we've acquired them through regular game means, we can make more. But, uh, Valor Bomb Small. Oh, we still don't know. Wait, what? Never mind, it's not the one I thought it was. We still can't do it. Valor Bomb Small Nighttime. Maybe I already did one of the, uh,. I thought we had to do one of these. Maybe I already did it and forgot about it. Lotus and Crustacean Carp. 
Well, I guess I'll check, but I don't think that's... I don't think we can buy those. Nope. Well, they may or may not be available uh, elsewhere in that zone. But we can at least do the bear quest. The hunter is... Uh, I don't want to get drawn to talking to them if I can help it. The hunter was... Where the hell was the hunter? Yeah, it's whatever, buddy. Well, you've got new stuff to say. Oh, is there nothing for it? The truth is, these looters have been running wild. Ever since the death of our great lord, it's gotten a lot worse. The reputation of Sanada will be damaged. You wish to Sanada public safety quest. Okay, thank you. People do seem to be based in Manasama foothills. May fortune favor you. Okay, so that opens up fire looters. Here we go, Hunter Hurst Thompson. It seems uh, the bear has gone. Uh, they say uh, you wrestled into submission. Uh, the people of Sonic Clan really are brave. Uh, this is a gift from all of us hunters. Uh, and I got Searing Red Crystal times five, Vivid Yellow Crystal, Icy Blue Crystal, Deep Green Crystal, Metallic Brown Crystal. One day I want to catch a prize, but I'm a hunter after all. Bunkhouse, book. All right. Well, so we didn't quite finish all those local quests, and we even picked up a new one. I was starting to think, based on this task list and how much space it had, that we were out. This might be the last... This might be the last task list, or it might go to a second page. I'm not sure. I am sure that this video is over. And when we come back next time, uh, we may go out and try to do some more Sanada, local, clan, whatever task quests, or might just talk to folks in town. Both of those options are available to us, folks. It's pretty exciting. Catch you next time.